What workouts should I do to lose weight? Stop the scroll. I know what you're doing right now. You're probably there, you're scrolling through, looking for ways to lose weight, and you came across my video. So congratulations, you actually have found one. It's actually gonna give you real advice. I did the same thing you did. I scrolled through all these other things, how to lose weight, and everything that I found was complete, what's the word I'm looking for? Crap. Just complete crap, complete garbage. Snake oil salesmen trying to sell you things. But you're lucky because I'm here to give you the real information on what you need to do in order to actually lose body fat. So if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. This way you never miss a beat and you get real life, applicable um, fitness advice without the fluff and without the snake oil salesman people here. I'm giving you real advice. And if you haven't already, please make sure you head on over to Instagram at abfitness and give me a follow over there. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me there. And if you're listening to this on a podcast, just make sure you leave me a five-star review as that lets me know that I'm doing a good job. So let's get rolling. What workouts should I do to lose weight? Now, like I said, I did the same Google or whatever search that you just did to find this. And I came up with complete crap. People that put, give out this horrible, horrible advice. So let's talk about it. What is needed to actually lose weight? Well, first and foremost, 70% of your results are going to come from what you eat. So I know you're looking for workouts, but you could do all the working out you want. If you don't follow through with good nutrition, nothing, zero, a big fat zero, nothing is going to happen if you don't follow that up with nutrition. So just going to the gym, and, oh, I go to the gym three days a week, that's good, and I applaud you for that. But that's not going to be the thing. Going through the motions is not going to be there. How many people do you know that go to the gym regularly that look like nothing? They look like they go to the gym for years and years and years and never change at all. And that's because their nutrition is not dialed in. So I want to preference this by saying that, yes, I'm going to talk about working out, but it's going to boil down to your nutrition. Whether you like that or not, that's just the way it works. So here's what you're going to need. Number one, you need to make sure you're eating in a calorie deficit, which basically means that you're eating less calories than your body's burning. So typically, if I normally consume 2,000 calories every day in order for me to lose one pound of body fat, which I'm trying to grab my model here without knocking everything else over, this is one pound of body fat. So in, and in one pound of body fat contains 3,500 calories. It's a lot. That's why not everybody's walking around ripped. But in order to lose one pound of body fat, you need to be in a 3,500 calorie deficit for the week. So that means that if you normally eat 2,000 calories, you need to eat less than that in order to lose about that. So that's about 500 calories less every day in order to do that. Without knowing those numbers, you're not gonna know. So this is 1A. So number one was making sure you're eating in a calorie deficit, but 1A basically means that you need to be keeping track of your macros how much protein you're having, how much carbs, how much fat. I have a ton of other references for that. So there's links all over. You can watch any other video and you'll find out more about macros. But you need to be tracking those for sure. So two, if you do end up getting to the gym, what should you be doing? Well, most people, what they do is they start on the treadmill and they focus a ton on cardio. If you've paid attention to me for any period of time, you know that I, me and cardio don't really get along. And that's because cardio is the band-aid to the problem. So yes, you can go to the gym and you could burn 300 calories on the treadmill, but as soon as you stop doing that, the fat burning process is done. But the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism is and the more calories you're gonna burn at rest. So building muscle is really gonna solve the problem longer term. But, okay, now you made it to the gym, so what do you do? So, some people that go into the gym, and they do some random machines. They kind of do like the little circuit thing around the gym, if they even make it into the gym, right? So what you need to be focusing on are something called compound movements. Now, compound movements are movements that utilize a lot of muscles at once. So for example, when you do a squat, which basically, think about it, when you sit down in a chair and then you stand up, that's a squat. So when you do a squat, you work over 280 different muscles of your body when you do that. Versus something like a leg extension, which is one of those, those machines you sit in it and then you kick your legs out like this. So that's a leg extension. You work four muscles when you do that. So which one's gonna give you a better bang for your buck? 
obviously the squats because you're going to be utilizing a lot of muscles at once. You're going to use your core, your legs, your back, your arms have to stabilize the weight. You're going to use a lot of muscles at once. So you need to be focusing on doing compound movements. Machines are good because they cut down that learning curve, but I, th I personally feel that a machine is worse for your body because you're fixing your body in one plane. So again, the, there's something at the gym called the Smith machine. It's basically the bar that's on a rack. And when you do a Smith machine, like a press, for example, your shoulders, your chest, everything is kind of locked in one position. And it's very, very bad for your joints. Everybody has a little bit of a different limb length, different uh, mobility things. And using a Smith machine locks you in. Using any machine will lock you into one place. So you have to move your body around that machine. So that's why compound movements are the best, okay? So you need to be focusing on the movements that have been around forever, that people have been doing since the 50s, because they've gotten in really good shape in the 40s and 50s doing those big movements versus doing all this fancy machine stuff and you know all those other things too. So you need to be focusing on compound movements. Again, because like I said, they give you the best bang for your buck. The third thing, you need to be training with progression. So what does that mean? Your body needs a stimulus in order for you to put on muscle and burn body fat. And that stimulus has to be something, either more weight on the bar, more reps, more volume, more sets, or even better form. Those four things are the ways that you can progress your training. So you need to make sure that you're training every single time that you train with progression. So if that means that you're squatting, whatever, I don't know, 20 pounds today, that means that you need to do 25 the next time or you need to do 20 for more reps or you need to do 20 with better form or you need to do 20 for i think i said more sets already but you get the idea you need to be training with progression okay so here's a simple routine that you're going to be doing and again this is this is why making videos like this is and so tough because you never know who's listening to this. I could be listening to someone who's never worked out before and has no idea what I'm talking about or someone that has really experienced. So again, take this for what it is because again, it's a basic, basic routine and you could do these things with barbells, dumbbells, but that's basically, you could do them at a gym, you could do them at home, but these are the basic movements that you need to be doing in order to lose body fat and build the best physique possible. So first things first, you need to be doing a squat or a squat variation, okay? You need to be doing that first in your routine. There's a lot of benefits for that. Again, I don't know what your skill level is right now, but when you do squats, like I said, you work over 280 different muscles in your body. So you need to be doing squats. You could do a barbell squat, you could do a dumbbell squat, but you need to be doing some loaded form of squat, okay? I would recommend at least three to four sets of 10 reps. That's probably what I'm gonna recommend on everything across the board, okay? The next exercise you're gonna be doing is a deadlift. We do deadlifts all the time and we pick stuff up from the ground. Again, there's a lot of videos out there to figure out how to do deadlifts properly and making sure you keep your back nice and straight, but you wanna be doing some form of deadlift, whether that's with a barbell, whether that's with a pair of dumbbells, doing a dumbbell deadlift. Again, a lot of variation to deadlifts, but you wanna be doing deadlifts as well. The next thing that you're gonna be doing, and again, those two exercises you can do at home. The third thing that you're gonna be doing is a bench press or a floor press again a basic pressing motion just like that you all you would need is a pair of dumbbells at home to do that so that's another one then you're going to be doing a standing overhead press so you're basically just pressing the weight up above your head okay again we're utilizing a lot of muscles at once so you could do this like i said with barbells or dumbbells then i want you to do a one-arm dumbbell row or you can even use a bar okay again to work the muscles of the back independently and i want you to finish off with a plank, I like planks. I think planks are a great full body strengthening exercise. Again, I don't know who's listening to this, so it's really hard for me to give a generic routine, but I like planks working your way up to at least a minute and then other variations that as well. But again, like I said, this is a basic, basic routine, but this is gonna be way better than anything else out there. If you watch any other video and the, or listen to anything else and they're telling you, okay, you just need to be doing planks, crunches, sit-ups three times a week, they're lying to you. You need to be doing a, a full body, full body split at least two or three times a week in order to really stimulate your body into changing the way it looks, in addition to eating in a calorie deficit. 
So hopefully you like this video. Make sure you watch this and this video as they're gonna help you get to the next level. And like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop me a like, leave me a five-star review, do all those cool things, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. And if you're interested in having a routine and nutrition plan customized for you, head on over to our website, abfitnesstrainer.com. Catch you guys on the next one.